Welcome to Town Meeting TV. I'm here today with a, an incredibly special guest, Marge Brethel. Marge, hi. Um, hi. Um, and and uh, you said that and how we uh, got to know each other over the years with me doing my shows, and we became friends. Um, and uh, sometimes we'd go like to Starbucks for co coffee um, and uh, other places, um, uh, and uh, and the shows were very important because it's an important message. So that instead of mental health systems being unhelpful, being helpful, and you see, sometimes they didn't know. I don't know why they uh, didn't know that they were helpful, um, or they were stuck in their way a certain way instead of being helpful. Do you want to mention something about that? Because you, yeah. So you're the name, the title of your show is What's Not Working in Mental Health Systems and Other Organizations. And, and remember, you mentioned like a set way that some people, you want to mention about the set way that sometimes people do things? Well, something that I learned from you is this idea of getting the help you need, not the help that people give you. And that's one thing that I've learned from you is that from your experience of having to be an advocate for yourself over the years through your experiences with organizations in Vermont and mental health organizations is that sometimes people have systems set up that they think are helpful for people, but it's not that the help it's not the help that they really need or that they really want. And and, and they have a certain set way. And they have a certain set way of doing that. So what what's your experience been with that, Marge? Well we first member one I want you to uh, address that one question that I was going to say more about you want to say uh, uh, sure yeah so one of the things that happens when you're not getting the help that you need is that you can become further and further stressed and be pushed into a point of crisis and sometimes that crisis can result in serious health consequences um, that you know, you suffer from because you're not getting the help that you really need. And so one of the things that you were asking is, what do, do we have to wait until things are a crisis to address and to give people the help that they need? Um, I, like, when, in, in 1983, when I collapsed on the sidewalk and I almost died um, uh, before they took it seriously, and, uh, and then in, in 2011, they said, you need nitroglycerin to continue to live. And then, uh, they, and then this uh, last year, uh, well, in uh, December uh, uh, of, of 20, uh, 22, and then 2023, January and February, I fell and didn't know it and went to the hospital. They said they did not think it was a stroke. They thought it was a seizure, but didn't. Uh, they said they didn't think it was a stroke, didn't know. They thought it was a seizure, didn't know. But they were giving me seizure medicine to to prevent, prevent the seizures. And you and I have to think about these very serious uh, health consequences because if I went too far or went when you know, like if I uh, you know. Uh, I, and that where there weren't people outside or inside, and I fell and and and, and I could die, like because at a coffee hour at Granway, if I fell, um, someone would call right away, like they did call when I asked them to, or when I was unconscious and blacked out, they did, or when I came to and asked them to, they did. But if I fell out on some sidewalk somewhere, uh, like. Uh, uh, and no one was around on South Prospect Parkway, I might end up dying. Yeah. And, uh, and they said that I should never go to the emergency room, uh, uh, you know, you, you know you, uh, uh, unless, you know, you call SSTA, but if you, or you call 911, but if 911 won't take you, you have to wait till the next day. You know, it's like, you don't want to go out on side and fall, and have no one there, and die, for, you know, from some seizure or something, um, and, ha and have no one know. And 
So I see I didn't have to think about seizures and falling before, yeah. um, and which I do now. Yeah. And you know, like from stress, because stress contributed. Um, and I asked the doctors, did it contribute? They said yes, and they said it might have been the whole thing, but it at least didn't help it. Yeah. And um, and then recovering from burnout, will I ever recover? And I have some help that's helpful because some people. Um, listen and under take it seriously, respond and help right away. Some people uh, don't, they might, uh, and, and might not ever, uh, maybe someday they will, or after years, some, some did, and some still don't, but some did right away, they always did. And it's like, uh, do you think that, and when I had several hundred misunderstandings, I couldn't resolve it alone for Vermont Systems. And having help by getting my message out, like TV shows and other people that helped me, that I found to help me, help me. Well, and you're part of a, you're, you're an advocate for yourself, but you're part of a network of advocates who, who work on behalf of folks who need help. But, but, but right, I, but I feel that my message will not just help me, it will help other people, but it isn't something to do alone because you can, uh, solving it or being responsible for it alone is too much. Yeah. I, uh, and you need lots of backing and help and support. And, uh, and I felt despair when I didn't feel like I was having enough help, but I'm feeling like I'm having more help and more of enough help, I still could use some more, but because it's a t an enormous project. And but the fact that I have some help, yeah. And and you're you when we talk about you needing help, talk about what kind of help is helpful for you, March. To be taken seriously, oh. responded to, and listened to, having it happen right away. You know, I don't have to have to explain and explain and explain to some of these people in Vermont systems that don't get it and don't listen or take it seriously. And like, uh, and some of your experience in those Vermont systems has been misunderstandings, but some of that experience has actually been like more than not helpful, but, but traumatic. That's right. Yeah. And that, and that, do you want to talk about that at all? Well, I, when I wasn't listened to yeah. or taken seriously, and so that's when we get to the point, does somebody have to collapse on a sidewalk to be taken seriously? They should be taken seriously without that. Mm -hmm. And they should be taken, you know, when I'm saying, like, you don't just sit there and, and say, well, you haven't collapsed on a sidewalk yet, so we can't help you. That's not how it should be. They should say, what can I do to be of help? Um, and it's like at Grandwood, it's very helpful there um, and uh, where I live and people are, you know, always say, what can I do to be of help? And, uh, and you know, if, uh, if the Vermont systems were like that, other systems, you know, that, that where, I, uh, where I went to for the day, I don't go there for the day anymore, but basically, uh, are there other organizations that are helpful to uh, you? Uh, Vermont Disability Rights, Vermont Legal Aid, yeah. um, and uh, those are helpful. Yeah. And then friends and family, and, um, and, uh, and, then, and, then, it, and, and then my health providers, they're learning how, like, uh, when, like my primary care and, and, and the other doctors that I go to for physical health conditions, you know, they're, they've learned how, and, and, but um, they like, Right away, uh, and uh, well, like the the, the 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 health providers at Grandway right away, or the health providers at uni at at at, at where my primary care. What is it, University Health Network, where your other doctors are? The, yeah. And you might have some doctors outside of that, or but it's or some medical people outside of that. But you know, it's I feel like they're helpful. They you know they you know just. Uh, it's it's not like when I go when I used to go to a day program in the Vermont system, which I don't, um, is that I felt like I wasn't understood or listened to, so I stopped. Yeah. And uh, but it's like, what does it feel like? What it, what is it like for you when you are listened to and understood? It felt terrible. When you are. Oh oh, I thought you said when you weren't. I know. Yeah. I thought that's what I thought you said. Yeah. 
I misunderstood. Well, what does it feel like? Uh, can I say I misunderstood? I, yeah, I do. I, under, I hear you, yeah. Uh, when I'm understood and taken seriously, it feels great. And it feels great when it happens right away. And um, I thought you were saying when you aren't misunderstood and listened to, that's what I thought you said, but that's not what you said. Nope. I said, what does it feel like when you are understood or listened to? It feels wonderful. Yeah. And especially when it happens right away. Yeah. And, 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 um, and sometimes it's a work in progress, but sometimes it's not a work in progress. Sometimes it happens right away. Yeah. And, what, and did you know it feels great? That's awesome. I do know. I, feels, I love when I feel mis... I, when I love when I feel understood, not when I feel misunderstood. <laughs> when I feel understood. And I think I... Do you feel like that happens a lot to you in your life? Do you feel well understood? I feel... Yes, I do. But since there were so many people that I came across in my life, like in the Vermont systems, there's hundreds, thousands, and millions. Uh, uh, most of the people understood, but there were a certain few that didn't that spoiled it for me. Because, uh -huh. you know, if I went to a day program and there were, all you need is a certain few that, that don't listen or, or misunderstood or take it seriously that can spoil a program. Mm -hmm. It just, you know, I mean, that's all you need. Uh -huh. I mean, because, you know, you, if you see, especially, let's say they're there every day. Yeah. Uh, well, you, and, and, and they're suggesting that all these things that aren't working for you, they're saying, well, you know, this is what I feel you should do. And I'm saying, well, I, that's not working for me. And they're not listening to me. Yeah. And so then I just, so then I finally said, well, goodbye. Yeah. And you know kind of what I'm saying, or do you? I do. So you have, do you want to tell people a little bit about who you are and how they can learn more about your story? Uh, they, well, how can they, if they want to, how can they watch, how can they get the, the TV tapes? Well, you have, you've produced a bunch of programs here at Town Meeting TV, and you've also produced a movie with Nora Jacobson um, called Tremors in the System, and both of those are available. If you go to cctv.org and you do a search for you can use Marge's last name, Berthold, um, or Marge Berthold, and um, you'll see all of the programs that Marge has produced. Who are some of the people you've interviewed? Well, did you know that um, basically if they get in touch with you, your phone thing is, it says it's blocked? Oh, <laughs> yeah, my phone has a lot of messages on it, yeah. Um, well, uh, I, I thought that one with Lindsay was good. Yep, you did a program with Lindsay Owens from Disability Rights Vermont. And didn't, who else? I, I, didn't you think that was good? Yeah, it's great. Um, I, did, I, did you, I, I thought it was really good. What do you think? I thought that was a great. It was a great introduction. She was. She's the new executive director at Disability Rights Vermont. And, and didn't you think it was good? Yep. A, a, a real good. I thought it was great. And. Um, and uh, I thought you were um, sending it to that person that's planning to uh, uh, change mental health systems. Did you send it to him? Who is that person? Well, I don't mind me. I don't know him, but you mentioned him. Marge, you've you have a better memory than I, and I do well, I not don't, remember this conversation. I, I know, but isn't there somebody again. you know somebody that's planning to change him, right? To change. But you said listen to people's stories. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. I know, but you don't remember that person? I don't remember. Well, you said there's this person that's listening to people's stories that wants to change the systems, and you said you sent them. Yep, that sounds, it sounds familiar. And so you, you said, give, me, you, give, and you give said, me a little bit to think about it, and, and I'll then see you what said, I can remember, yeah. And then you said, you, I asked if you could send the interview of Lindsay, and you said you could. Yep, I, 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 nope, I do remember now, and I did send that. That was somebody who is working, there's a new human rights um, panel. There's a new human rights panel that's listening to uh, the stories of Vermonters who have suffered trauma inside of our institutions. So just like you have suffered trauma inside the Vermont Mental Health, the Vermont Mental Hospital. And that, what about the Vermont Mental Health System uh, day treatment programs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, I, what I'm talking about that you go to for the day, I yeah. stopped it because it was traumatic. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I want them to know that the day programs uh, are very traumatic too. Yep. I, I, you know, I want, you know, I mean, that is a very important message and point. That yep. did, did you know that they're extremely devastating? Yeah. Or, so or did you know? 
I didn't know. I mean, other than what you've said about them. Yeah. Um, and um, well, you knew before today. Yeah. Or didn't you? Well, because I've heard you talk about it, so I know your experience with those. But you knew before today. Yes. Um, and didn't you know for a long time, or didn't you? Probably. Yeah. Well, I've told you many times before today, so don't don't you remember them? Yep. I've, if you've told me about it, I would remember it. Yes. Well, I have many times, so don't you remember? I do remember. Um, and uh, can that guy or, guy or whoever it was you sent it to, if you can look up that person that you sent it to, because it would be helpful to me to know. Know if he's seen them, yeah. Yeah, um, and you, can't, you don't, can't, don't remember? Well, or what about that Human Rights Council? Why can't you look up That's that? That's the person that I'm thinking of who's on the Human Rights Council. And, and so I did send that, and I'll follow up with him. Is there anything more that you want to talk about on the show today? Because we're still on the TV for the Well, is there anything viewers. else that you think that we should? Uh, well, do you think you've covered the issue? Well, if Megan comes as my guest to a coffee hour at Grand Way and talks about Channel 17, my shows, or other shows if people want to know them and, and what she does, if, if, but she'd want to call me and make sure I was going to be there if she comes as my guest. But that would be something very helpful. And so I don't, I'm, yeah. I, so I, town, I, I'm just mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, and should I explain what that is? Or, or, well, you I, can, and you could explain. What I'm saying is so, other people might not know what that, they have a coffee hour on the first floor at Grandway um, uh, uh, during the week. It's for residents. For residents, you know, mon Monday through Friday yep. at Three o'clock. There's not a lot of people that go now, but um, maybe this can be a public service announcement for folks who are watching this from Grand Way. Do you know that you have a coffee hour, five days a week from three to five o'clock? And Marge and I did a presentation there, probably a year or more ago, about the programs and why you produce the programs. But yeah, but I'm saying that you could come and talk more about it sometime. If but you would if. If you're coming as my guest, you'd want to make sure I was going to be there? Yeah. Well, I think I would want to be there as your guest. And I know, I've but... I've enjoyed being there with... I've enjoyed being there with other residents, too. I know, but if you were going to come as my guest specifically, wouldn't you want to make sure that I was there? Absolutely. Um, and, um, but what I'm saying is it's not just to talk to me, it's to talk to other people. In fact, it's a chance to talk to other people that don't know about Channel 17. And, yeah, uh, although we're now Town Meeting TV, we've uh, lost uh, the name Channel 17, remember? We're no longer, we're just Town Meeting TV. I, oh, I, I know, but okay, but what I'm saying is Town Meeting TV. Yep. Uh, but what I'm saying is people that don't know about it, you would get to meet people, get to know them, but tell them about what you do. Well, we're doing it right now. This well, is we're, the we're, kind of thing that we're doing. Uh, and uh, we're the doing town meeting TV, we're, we're doing it, but I'm saying yeah. I don't know who that, if that many people are going to watch this. Maybe. Depends on how many people we send it to and how we share it. So, yeah. Uh, correct. Yeah. Marge, do you want to say anything more to viewers who are watching now before we say goodbye, or would, is it time to just say goodbye? Um, well, do you think we've, I think we've covered a lot. It's up to you. Well, I'm asking you, do you think we've covered a lot? I think we've covered a lot. I think we've covered the idea of getting the help you need before you are suffering the consequences of not getting that help. And that sometimes the help you need is not, what's the phrase? Sometimes the help you need is not the help that's given. That's right. And I want to thank you for the people that are listening. Yeah, thanks for watching and keep tuning in to Town Meeting TV for more programming. Thanks, Marge.